Hello guys, um, oh, shoot, sorry about that, <laughs> phone drops, um, sorry I've been a little quiet in this one, we got some extra people over, over right now, but I'm still gonna do the video because I want to get it out before the end of the year so you guys can see, but, um, but today we're gonna talk about Bumblebee, pretty excited about this one, um, it was released just this year, 2018. Um, it's rated PG-13, and it's an hour 54 long. It has a 7.3 out, out of 10 on IMDb, with about 17,000-ish user votes. It has a 66% on Metacritic, with about 37 critics. Um, it stars uh, Haley uh, St St uh, Steenfeld, and she was in quite a few things, actually. More than I thought she was, but she was in another movie I love, The Ed Edge of 17, which I could cover in the future. Um, and, and also, um... Uh, J O R G E, so it's either George or I th I'm gonna s just say George. I don't really, or it could be. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. It could be, it could be something else, but um, uh, Lenbor Jr. and he was also in Love Simon that movie. And it's directed by Travis Knight, who did a lot of animated stuff, but one of them being a Kubo and the second string, and the two strings. Um, it has a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, very high, with 184 critics and 80% by audiences, about 1,200, around 1,200 audience people, give or take. Um, and the critics' consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is that Bumblebee proves it's possible to bring fun and a sense of wonder back to a bloated blockbuster franchise and sets up its own slate of sequels in the bargain. Now, I have to say, I love this movie. It's the best Transformer movie by far, like by, uh, by a universe compared to the original Michael Bay movies. And that says something. After this is the sixth Transformers movie, and it, and this this is a great movie. It balance and and we'll and there's we'll go over everything bit by bit here. Let's start with let's start with acting. The acting is fantastic in this movie by the live action actors. They have a great cast here. The lead actress, she's awesome as usual. I love her as an actress. She's great. Um. Um, all the other supporting characters, they're all great too, and John Cena's in this, and you know what? This role of John Cena, if, this, this role of John Cena has in this, it makes him look like he could be a big time blockbuster actor like Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he should, because if there's any role that shows he can do it, it's this role here. Um, everyone else is great, um... Um, the special effects, the CGI is fantastic in this movie. Bringing the original G1 Transformers to life on the big screen is probably some of the biggest nostalgia chills I ever got in a movie theater, ever. It just was, it was a dream come true. Um, um, seeing, and they were so done, the Transformers, they were, they had the right colors, it was perfect copy and paste from the cartoons the original cartoons and that's what they needed to do and they done it. it was so simple but yet they kept fucking up over and over and over again but they did it this and it was awesome um special effects acting the story the story is amazing it balances action with 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 story there's, there's some great action now. It's not like Michael Bay in your face action like like then, but it's the action is fantastic though. And in, in all honesty, a lot of the action in this I think is better than a lot of the Michael Bay movies. I think it's on par with the first Michael Bay movie, even though that Michael Bay movie had a lot more action to it I think than this one. But I think this one uses the action scenes much more cleverly. Um, but yeah, the characters have so much depth in this movie. I mean, the main girl, she ha she goes, she has a great character arc, and she has, goes through a lot of depth, and the other characters are great too, and oh yeah, to make this even better, the movie's set in the 80s, where Transformers first came out, and, and yeah, that, they, 
I never, this is, an, when it comes to making a movie based in a time period, this movie does probably one of the best jobs I've seen a movie do in basing itself in a time period. It really does. I mean, the clothing, the styles, the, oh my god, that's another thing. The soundtrack in this film is probably one of my favorite soundtracks ever. Just the music they choose to represent the 80s is just like, it's perfect, spotless, it's amazing. And, yeah, and the story captures the 80s perfectly, in my opinion. It, it, and showing the, showing the character arcs of the humans, and also of the Transformers, Bumblebee goes through quite a bit in this movie. And he's such a lovable... Transformers. They're gonna make it a movie about any Transformer. Bumblebee was a great choice. I don't know if Prime would have been a good one too, but but Bumblebee, I think, I think kind of stole the hearts of a lot of people during the Michael Bay years. That's one thing the Michael Bay films got right was Bumblebee. Um, now the Bum Michael Bay films, the first five, that's a whole nother topic entirely. Um, but um, but yeah. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let me go over this again. We covered acting, story, soundtrack, special effects. Oh, direction. Ha having a brand new director in this movie is perfect choice. Michael Bay, he has his moments, but he lost his touch, in my opinion. And by a lot. <laughs> and... I love seeing fresh eyes in this. I love seeing a group of people look at Transformers and be like, okay, people know what they want. Let's give them what they want and do it great. And this thing, film, feels like it was made in the 80s. I mean, some movies make films in the time period and they don't quite capture it. This film feels like it was made in the 80s. This film's like Stranger Things good in terms of capturing that time period. It's... It does a great job of that. And, uh, and yeah, direct. So let's see, we covered acting, story, special effects, soundtrack, direction, writing, acting, special effects, writing. I'm sorry, I'm just making sure I cover everything. Um,. Yeah, there's that much more I can think about here about it. It's it's a pretty flawless movie. I don't really have anything on it. I think some people would like to see a bit more Transformer action, but in all honesty, I didn't miss it. I just love seeing something completely different in the Transformers movie. And this film has character arc. Characters go through shit. They change. They get better. Some characters may get worse. It's... But yeah, it's it's a pretty... But characters change overall. That That's a sign of a great movie. When characters go through changes so well made. Oh, and the cinematography. I almost forgot about the cinematography. Cinematography in this film is mind-blowingly amazing. I mean, the action's great, the use of special, like, action special effects we already talked about, but the camera work in this film is amazing. The way it uses the angles, how it captures, the, the way they capture some of these action scenes is just awesome. And, and as a side note, the humor in this film is amazing. I mean, I, Michael Bay films always try to be funny, but... There was hit and misses with them, in my opinion, but my Bumblebee was pretty, pretty spotless in that. And it's kind of ironic, overall, say that the Michael Bay films, by trying to act more mature, come off more immature-ish, and Bumblebee showing more innocence and more, and more restraint shows a lot more maturity overall. And, yeah, I think this is a great movie. Um, check it out. I could probably talk so much about this film with another person or whatever, but I've covered pretty much everything on it. It's a perfect, flawless film. Go check it out in the theaters. You won't regret it. It's a great Transformers film. It's a great film overall. It greatly makes up for the some of the Michael Bay films, <laughs> my Transformer films. But, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.